The overall goal of this procedure is to isolate and detect palmitoylated neuronal proteins from cultured neurons using a simple and adaptable biochemical assay. This is accomplished by extracting and immobilizing the target protein in the presence of N-ethylmalamide, or NEM, to ensure the blocking of all free thiol groups. The second step is to treat the immobilized target protein with hydroxylamine, or HAM, to cleave the thioester linkage between the palmitylated cysteine residue and the palmitate molecule. This frees up the palmitylated cysteine thiol group and makes it available for labeling. In the third step, the immobilized target protein is incubated with biotin BMCC, a thiol-specific molecule tagged with biotin. This biotinylates and tags the thiol group that was originally palmitylated. The final step is to detect the level of palmitylation of the target protein by SDS page and western blotting for streptavidin. Ultimately, the IP-ABE assay is used to show levels of the lipid palmitate reversibly attached to a neuronal target protein, and can also detect subtle changes in target protein's palmitylation levels. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like detection of protein palmitylation using metabolic labeling with treated palmitate, is that the acyl biotin exchange assay is more sensitive and less time consuming. The ABE assay also allows for more quantitative estimates of palmitylation and is optimally suited for detecting small changes in the levels of palmitylation. Though this method can provide insight into identifying palmitylated proteins in cultured hippocampal neurons, it can also be applied to other systems, such as primary neural culture.